Hi, this is about um, setting up your payment options on the website. So if I go to the website, um, if we go on to the, I've got another tab with the back end already open. So here's a dashboard. So once you've signed in, logged in, um, we can go in and do some uh, adjusting. If we go to where you want to go to is where it says Jigo Shop on the left hand side there and then click on settings and once you get into the settings area you can see all these tabs along the top and the one you're looking for is the payment gateways and you will see that um, like check payment has already been set for you I did that when I first set it up and it gives all the details there so when people go to that uh, checkout thing it gives them those options um, so you've already got PayPal set up um, and we've got uh, W2 cash. No, we haven't got cash on delivery because uh, that, that's an option. Should you want it? We've got check payment set up, and now the bank transfer. So we just need to enable that as yes. Method of title bank transfer because that's what it is. We've then got the details already in there, which we can, you can add to this. You can put. I mean, I've, at the moment, I've got it saying please use the details uh, below to transfer the payment for your order. Once payment is received your order will be processed and dispatched thank you for your custom and basically what you would then do is you would then put in here your details so whatever your bank is so I'm going to put HSBC um, your account number so one two three oops <laughs> three four five six seven eight cause it's usually an eight eight digit number and then your sort code in there which you get from your checkbook or from your Visa debit card. Um, don't worry about these these codes here. Um, these are for people making payments from overseas. So, like for instance, if I wanted to buy one of your mugs and you had these your bank details on your site, which you've just put in here, you would then just go in and you'd literally just send the payment to those details. I'll take those payments from your website. Uh, sorry, those detail payment details from your website. I'd log into my online account which is how I do all my banking and then I'd literally make a payment using your bank your account number your sort code and as it says here this usual surname is reference so basically I would then type in my name which would then tie in with your order you can change that if you want if you've got a, 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 a different idea then you just but you just need to tell them what they need to put onto that payment I tend to stick to people's surnames uh, because you've then got the date that it comes through plus their surnames. So, I mean, in the unlikely event that somebody with exactly the same surname orders a mug on exactly the same day using online banking, then there's you know that's the only time you can probably may get a bit confused. Uh, but other than that, that is all you need to do. Uh, and once you've done that, once you've put in your details, always remember to scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on save changes and then it's logged into the site then when people and then what you can do is go to the front end and then maybe you can just you might maybe want to go and test it out okay so I'll add to the cart so I'll, I'll do it as if I'm purchasing something oh it's told me that so I'm going to click on view cart I can go through there's all my details and I've decided right I'm going to proceed to checkout so I shall go to checkout um, and then I shall put all my details in and I go right okay there we are anyway, it's bank transfer so I've got a choice now bank transfer here's the stuff we've just set up so if I choose that that's what I use I then place the order the person would then have to go to their own online bank with those details if they've taken from this page and pay you you would then see the payment come in and then you know once you've got the payment you can then process the order Bearing in mind that they will have sent you all their details, they've already filled in all their, you know, their address and stuff, and therefore, as soon as you've got their payment in, you could then send them an email that says, "Hi, received your payment via Bax. Uh, thank you very much. Order is now being processed, and we will send you a further email once it's been dispatched." And that basically is it. And that is how you change the details in terms of how people pay. So it's in that part of the website under Jigo Shop Settings. And then as soon as you do it, just check it out while making out you're going to buy something. Go to checkout and you'll see it come up here just so you can test it. So if I want to check payment, I click on that, it comes down. PayPal payment comes down there and off you go. Okay, there you go.